We're here with head coach Brian DeRocher of the BU women's ice hockey team. The Terriers face off against St. Lawrence and Clarkson this weekend. What are you looking for in this last weekend before hockey East play? Well, obviously we want to keep moving forward and uh, and at the same time defend uh, home ice. You know, we want to take care of business all the time at Walter Brown Arena. And, uh, you know, you've got a, a real top-end program in St. Lawrence University historically for the last uh, good 10, 12 years. And uh, Clarkson, a team that I think parallels us, you know, they're only about a half dozen years old. And, uh, you know, they're probably a little bit on the younger side this year, but uh, clearly have a bunch of quality players. So our task is to get out of the gate against St. Lawrence, make sure we bring the energy, make sure that we uh, defend first and uh, let our offense and talent speak for itself later on down in the game. Uh, what are some of the challenges uh, for you in uh, preparing for two teams in uh, one weekend? Well, I think they're teams that we're uh, somewhat familiar with, but uh, don't see as readily as we might uh, some of the teams in Hockey East and, you know, a little more of their tendencies. Uh, but without a doubt, our, our, our big thing is to worry about ourselves, make sure that we know what we're going to do, killing penalties, you know, the little things that have given us the positives on the on the uh, power play the last couple of weeks, and uh, certainly making sure that uh, we try to get everybody in the game here. You know, I like to see if we can get that fourth line on the ice to complement the top players and to make sure they're feeling a part of things here. But uh, uh, if we take, take care of the little things and we do things one shift at a time, we're going to probably see things line up in a positive way. And uh, finally, Catherine Ward was named an assistant captain of the team this week. Uh, just talk about her leadership qualities and the uh, process of uh, her being named captain. Well, she's, she's uh, definitely played the game at the highest level, and not only here in college hockey, but uh, uh, in Canada, won championships there, won a gold medal with the Olympic team, and, uh, and the uh, whole movement really started with our captains that uh, Lauren and Jillian and uh, Holly Lorms all uh, talked to me about it a little while back. We kind of mulled it over, and uh, I discussed it with my uh, coaches. I even discussed it briefly with Catherine, and uh, she once told me that a, a letter wasn't important. She could be a leader without one, but... Uh, I think it's truly a, a statement that uh, was made by the captains, uh, confirmed by my coaches, and uh, certainly agreed to by me that uh, she was highly worthy of it and will be a great addition to uh, you know, the leadership and the uh, direction of this program.